well as taught in pre-calculus, is to get rid of your denominators. All right? So you guys can see I have three different denominators. I have 2 minus x. I have 2. And there's a denominator 1 there. All right? So what I'm going to want to do is I can't plug in 0, because if I plug in 0 there, that makes old denominator 0. It's undefined. However, I can eliminate the denominators by multiplying the top and the bottom by my LCD. So the LCD is going to be the common, uh, basically the least common denominator. So if I have 1, 2, and 2 plus x, I can write my common denominator as 2 times x plus 2. I'll just rewrite that as x plus 2. It doesn't really matter for that. Okay. So that's going to be my common denominator. And I don't really need to write 1, because 1 obviously divides into it. But x plus 2 divides into that, and 2 divides into that, because they both limit it. So now I'll multiply the top and the bottom by 2 times x plus 2. OK, now watch. Oh, and you've got to remember when you're multiplying this numerator, this complex fraction, you've got to remember you're multiplying the top and the bottom. So a lot of times we'll just write it twice. Okay, you're, applying, you're multiplying basically every term. When you're trying to get rid of your fractions, you're multiplying everything times your LCD. So what happens when I multiply 1 over 2 plus x times 2 times x plus 2? Well, these, again, these are the same. They're just switched around. So since this is in the denominator, that's in the numerator, they divide out to each other, right? So that's going to just leave me with 2. And then minus. Now here, you can see that the 2's divide out. And again, guys, if you did this correctly, if you do this correctly, your denominators are always going to divide out, right? Because by choosing the LCD, you're choosing numbers that your denominators divide into, right? So if you don't get rid of your fractions, then you obviously did something wrong. And then the denominator, I'm going to have 2 times x, 2 times x times x plus 2. Now, I would recommend leaving it just like that, not doing anything else, um, not simplifying your denominator. Because my numerator, <coughs> apply to Schroeder property, you guys can see here now the 2's divide out, or I'm sorry, subtract out. And then we're left with a negative x over x. Those also divide out. And therefore, we're left with a negative 1 over 2 times x plus 2. Now, after simplifying this, now do we have, is, now can we, directly, um, can we directly substitute? Now can we directly substitute? Yeah, now it's perfect, right? We just had to, map, we had to simplify this a little bit. So if I, as x approaches 0, so we're just going to plug that in. So we have negative 1 over 2 times 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2 times 2 equals negative 1 fourth.